to the Open Dental Time Cards webinar. This training will show you step-by-step -step how to set up time cards and start using the time clock feature in Open Dental. At the end of this webinar, you should have an understanding of how to set up time cards, time clock functionality, and how to manage time cards. In this training, we will cover associated security settings and permissions, time card setup, creating save periods, entering time card rules, making time card adjustments, and basic time clock function. Before you can begin using the time clock feature in Open Dental, employees and users must be added. For more on adding employees and users, please refer to the links in the description. Once you have entered all your employees and users into Open Dental, you'll want to make sure the user group each employee is assigned to has the appropriate permissions. These permissions can be given by going to Setup, Security, and Security Settings. From here, you'll go to the User Groups tab, select the user group you want to edit permissions for, and then select or deselect the appropriate permissions. If you want users in the group to have the ability to edit time cards for any employee, you'll want to make sure the edit all time cards permission is selected. That'll be here in the manage module section. Edit all time cards. This will also give the users access to the time card manage window. If you want the user group to be able to delete time card entries, make sure the time card delete entry box is selected. Another area that affects security of time cards is in global security settings. From the security settings window, you'll find the global security settings button here in the top left corner. Here you can check the box for time card security enabled, which will allow you to select if you do not want users to edit their own time cards. This will also limit users without the edit all time cards permission from viewing the time cards of other employees. Now that you have set up the security related to time cards, the next step is to set up pay periods. To do that, you'll go to Setup, Manage, and Time Cards. To add new pay periods, you have the option of either adding one or multiple at a time. To add one, just select the Add One button, enter the date you want the pay period to start, the date it should end, and the paycheck date. I'm just going to leave those as they are and click OK. And you can see it adds it to our list here. To add multiple pay periods at a time, select the Generate Mini button. In this window, you'll select the start date, the interval of pay periods, the number of pay periods you want to create, and then a pay date. Here you can either select a day of the week or a certain number of days after a pay period. If using the option of a number of days after a pay period, you'll also want to decide if you want to exclude weekends and select whether to have the payday fall on the day before a weekend or after. Once you've entered the specifications you'd like, click the Generate button. You'll be able to preview the pay periods you're creating here in this pay periods column. Once you're happy with the date, click the OK button, and it will add those pay periods to this list. You can set up as many pay periods as you wish, which will help prevent any issues viewing time cards in the future. 
Next, you will add time card rules. You can see what the rules are by clicking the Add button. Here you'll have the option of entering either overtime or differential hour rules. You can also select if those rules apply to all employees or maybe just specific ones. For example, let's say that Sarah gets paid overtime if she works over eight hours in a day. So we'll enter that eight here and click OK. That will add it to our rules list. And then if we also have somebody who maybe gets paid differently, if they work after five, we'll go ahead and click that 5 p.m. button. We'll say that this applies to Amy. And we'll click OK. And it also adds it to our list of rules. At the bottom of this window, there are a few different options. You can select if you want the total, daily, and weekly times to display as decimal format rather than colon format on the time cards. So that on the employee's time card, it would show eight and a half hours as 8.5 rather than 8.30. The Calc Daily button makes adjustments if breaks over 30 minutes, determines how breaks that exceed 30 minutes is handled when daily totals are calculated. If checked, this will automatically clock the employee out for any time over the allowed 30 minute break when the Calc Daily button is clicked. You can also choose if you want to show seconds on the time card when using the colon format. Rather than just showing hours and minutes, you would see the addition of seconds as well. If you have an ADP company code, you can enter it here in the bottom left corner as well. Once your rules and pay periods are entered, you can close this window. Now your time cards are all set up. Next, we'll go to the Manage module. As you can see, all your employees are listed here. To clock in, you'll just select the employee and click the clock in button. When it's time to clock out, the employee will just select their name and then select what they're clocking out for. They will use home typically at the end of the day, lunch if they're taking an unpaid half hour or hour break, or break if taking a paid break. We'll go ahead and select break and then click the clock out for button. To view time cards, you can simply double click on an employee's name. You can see the time card you are currently in here at the top, as well as which pay period you're looking at. If you need to look at a different pay period, you can use these blue arrows here on the left, either forwards or backwards. You can also easily switch between employee time cards without leaving this window by using these arrows here on the right. We'll go forward and we'll see that it changes the time card for Beth. Or we can go back and view the time card for Amy. In the upper right corner, you have two options, one for time cards and one for breaks. If you select the break option, it will show any breaks that the employee has clocked out for. From either of these options, you can print the time card here with the print button in the bottom right corner. If you go back to the time card view, you can also see the total time in both colon and decimal format. From this window, you can also add adjustments to the time card here with the Add Adjustments button. You can also calculate daily hours or calculate weekly overtime. There are two ways to make adjustments on a time card. You can use the Add Adjustments button here, and this will allow you to enter a flat amount of hours rather than in and out punches. For example, if you're entering vacation time and you're only needing to enter eight hours, this is how we would do that. You would click the adjustment button, select the date for entry, we'll say 
taking vacation time on the 19th. Enter the number of hours to add for that day. And then you can also type a note if needed. We'll just go ahead and indicate this is for vacation time. Then we'll click OK. And it will show here on the time card with the date that we've entered and the number of hours that we entered as well. Another way of entering adjustment in the case of someone forgetting to clock in or out would be to have the employee clock either in or out as soon as they realize it. We'll say Sarah forgot to clock out for her break. We'll go ahead and we'll clock her out for her break. And then we'll clock her right back in. Then we can go into her time card. And because it was a break that was changed, we'll select the break option. And then we can double click into the time card event. And then here in the displayed boxes, we can fix the time that she went on break. We'll just say she went on break at 810. She got back at 820. Again, if you need to add any kind of note, they can do that here. And click OK. Any adjustments made will show in red. If we switch back over to the time card view, here at the bottom we have a Calc Daily button. This button will calculate the daily totals for the employee whose time card you're on. It will take the time card rules into consideration and will calculate any overtime or differential hours for that day. It will also make any adjustments for breaks over 30 minutes if that option was selected in your time card setup. The Calc Week OT button will calculate weekly overtime for the employee based on your time card rules. For either of these buttons to function, the employee must be clocked out for the day. You can also manage all time cards at once. In the Manage module, you can click this Manage button. And this will allow you to see time cards for all the employees at once. It will show you the total hours worked that week, regular, overtime, and differential hours. Rate one would be the number of regular hours worked. Rate one overtime would be the number of regular overtime hours worked based on the rules that were set in the time card setup. Rate two is the number of regular differential hours works based on the time card rules. And rate two overtime would be the number of overtime differential hours work. Again, based on the rules set in your time card setup. If you have added any notes, those would also be seen here. At the bottom of this window, you have the options of calculating daily or weekly hours for all employees. You can also print the time cards for all employees or just the ones selected. From this window, you also have easy access to time card setup, which can be helpful if you need to add more pay periods or adjust rules. You can simply click the setup button here at the top left corner and make any of the needed adjustments. Next to that is the reports button. If we click that, we can see a few different options of payroll reports you can run. The print grid will print the grid of employee time cards. Export grid will export the grid data as a text file to a location on your computer. Once the export is complete, a message will show indicating the file name. 
You can also export the time card data in ADP format or a CSV file using the export ADP option. If any errors are detected, you will receive a notification. And like when exporting the grid, once the export is complete, a message will show indicating the file name. That wraps up the basic time card setup with Open Dental. If you have any questions about something that was not covered during this webinar, please contact our office. Our contact information is located on our website at opendental.com under the contact information button. Here you can find our phone number as well as our hours of operation. You can also chat with us or send us an email. For other webinars, simply go to the search on our website and type in webinar. Here you can see the full list of pre-recorded webinars. Thank you for joining us for the Time Cards webinar. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.